there, welcome to my new Let's Play. So, this time we're going to be following the life of a young runaway. Um, she's young because she's only a teenager. Uh, so yeah, she's run away from home, she's moved into the only apartment she can afford, which is, let's face it, a bit of a shithole. And um, she's just going to try and make her way. She can't really, I suppose she could get a part-time job, but she is at school. But she's a very talented painter, so she's going to try and pay her rent by painting. So we're just going to be following her antics for a little bit. Um, her name is Ava. You may even, if you've been watching my Let's Plays before, you might even recognise that little face right there. Because if we take a look at her family tree... She has two half-siblings who she doesn't really know. Her mum, Tess, who was the main person in the last Let's Play I did, the struggling singer. So Ava looks quite a bit different. She's ditched the preppy look, she's moved out, and Tess's life has actually progressed as well. She's now married to Ava's dad, Dean, and Dean's divorced from his ex-wife. So beautiful family story there with the uh, broken home. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll see Tess, maybe she'll make an appearance, who knows, who knows. But for the time being, this is the lady we're going to be uh, following for the next few episodes. Everything is pretty bland, the walls are pretty blank, as you can see. Here's one I made earlier. So I might just put some artwork on the walls, um, just because she already has, like... I mean, she's still famous, well, a little bit famous, and she still has income coming in from the videos that she was forced to make when she was a kid. So, you know, financially, she's doing okay. She can afford to pay her rent for a little bit, so we can afford to put some art on the walls. But that's kind of one of the reasons why she ran away to Sam Myshuno, is that she really didn't want to pursue the life that Tess wanted her to pursue. She doesn't want to be famous, she doesn't want to be an actress or... You know, she doesn't want the spotlight life, you know? She doesn't even sign her name on the paintings. I mean, if you have a look at this one, look. No name. No name. She just wants to be anonymous. Oh, that's a masterpiece. That's an investment there. But anyway, we've made the place feel a little bit more like home. Got a few paintings up. It's all right. It's all right. I think maybe it's time to go meet our neighbours. So let's pop next door, see what kind of people we're we're dealing with. And of course we're going to get a loading screen for going next door. Standard. Oh, here they are. Neighbours. Let's uh, introduce ourselves. They're all teens as well. Almost like it was intentionally set up that way. Isn't it amazing how these things work out? But yeah, I think, you know, Ava's living here on her own. She's got some teenage neighbours. We're going to be buds. We're going to be buds. We're going to build up positive relationship. In fact, do you know what? Do you know what? We're going to make a little group. Oh, we already have... Wait. I'm confused. <gasps> I completely forgot that I ever made this group. The friends group. Are you allowed to have more than one group at once? You can have three, apparently. Okay, well, I already have a group called friends, so let's call this one... New friends probably wouldn't have gone through the effort of moving a load of teens in next door if I remembered that I made that fucking group, but you win some, you lose some. Okay, so those two, right, yeah, and where's the other guy? <laughs> the Bailey Moon family had a son and they called him Orange. New friends, we'll do a little cocktail because we're a bit older now. Right, okay, I've got an idea, got an idea. So I've introduced myself, I'm actually going to go back home now and have a gathering. I think, have a little party. Another loading screen. Right, we're back home. Make a little something, something to eat. And then, I think we're going to throw a party with our neighbours and have a good time. Because that's what you do, isn't it, you young people? Uh, might buy a couple of things, you know, for a party. Maybe get... Well, keg, obviously. Standard, goes without saying. I can't remember where the kegs are. I'm guessing it's in activities and skills. I wouldn't say keg falls under an activity, but it certainly falls under a skill. Elation station? Yeah, we'll get that. Why not? Why not? Do you know, there's something in my head. <laughs> I think it's just because maybe I'm, I'm very uh, 
maybe I've just got a dirty mind, but whenever I read um, Elation Station, my brain translates it to Fellation Station. I d don't know why, don't ask me why, but... Oh, just let me place that. I was going to put it in the inventory anyway. Just let me place the fucking thing. Okay, fine. I'll move some, some stuff around. Here we go. Pop the fellation station right there. And then, of course, of course, we need the keg. Not being funny, but where's the fucking keg? Am I... Am I missing something here? Is it not under activities and skills? It should be. Okay, I'm just going to do a word search. In party... Oh, I completely missed it. Okay, let's go for dragon fruit because that sounds a bit exotic, doesn't it? Dragon fruit. Okay, is there anything else we need for a party? Oh, stereo, obviously. Got to get a little stereo. There we go, pop it over here. I reckon that's all we need. Right, okay. Now let's do a little bit of Tetris with all this. Fantastic. Right, well, should I actually throw a proper party or should I just have a group gathering? I'm going to throw a proper party, I think. Not sure what kind of thing it would fall under, but fuck it. What's the worst thing that could happen is that it just comes out with, like, a bronze medal. I can live with that. Uh, I always lose track of where everything is. This is what it's like... If you ever wonder what it's like for old people and technology, this is what it's like for me when I play The Sims. I don't know where anything is on my phone. There we go. Plan a social event. When you finished your dinner. What did you make? What is that? Super noodles. <laughs> the standard meal. Or ramen noodles, as they, they call it here. Right, well, we don't want a sleepover. Mm, well, we don't have a dance floor, so I'll probably get penalised for that. House party? Oh, this this might work. Although, make your neighbours jealous with your catered spread and awesome drinks. Well, they're going to penalise me for not cooking and not having a bar, so that's fucking brilliant. Oh, wait, what was that? What was that? Keg party. Memories will be made and shortly forgotten. Throwing one of these parties is almost guaranteed a bad life decision, but somehow a necessary rite of passage. Yes, this is exactly what we're looking for. Oh, Sims 4, you have delivered. This is exactly what I want. Okay, so she could be the host. Uh, we want our neighbours to come round. Should we invite some of our old friends for old time's sake? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. Um... Who else have we got? He's a neighbour. We do not want our uncle. He will cramp our style. Oh, Manuel. Didn't we have a little thing with him? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, memories coming back. And a mixologist. We don't need a mixologist because we don't have a bar. So you can keep your mixologist. And we'll have it at our residence. Oh, look at our little party outfit. Oh, do you know what, actually? I'll quickly show you, while we're waiting for guests to arrive, I'll show you what she looks like in uh, all of her costumes. I like to say costumes, because it is a show at the end of the day. Right, so this is her everyday wear. Quite um, scruffy, free spirit. She's also... Um, had a few tattoos since the last time you saw her. She's completely got rid of that preppy look. I think because she used to be so preppy, she's gone above and beyond to make sure that that reputation is completely washed away. Formal attire. Got that. Very pretty. Love that dress. Athletic. Just super cash. Just looks like it just was thrown on, but it still looks good, you know? Sleepwear. Party wear, I absolutely love this top. This is custom content. Uh, swimwear, quite covered up. Don't really like getting our flesh out. We're not, we're not one of those sex symbol types. We're like the opposite of our mother. Hot weather, really cute. And then cold weather. So, in case you can't tell, her overall style is just a bit bit grungy really 
So there we go. You are fully introduced to the new, improved, well, might be improved, might not be, you decide, but the new Ava. Oh, what's going on here then? Reminiscing with old friend. Right, I think without further ado, are you serious? That guy's broken it already. Replace keg. Dragon fruit. Wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 don't replace the keg. Don't replace the keg. Tap juice keg? Why can't they use it? Okay, what with it being, what about with it being there? Why can't they use it? Is it because they're teenagers and you have to be a young adult to use it? <laughs> well, this isn't going well. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just all try some of this uh, shisha. Come on, guys, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Going to parties is all about bowing to peer pressure, so, you know, take a seat. Well, I have to admit, this was a huge oversight on my behalf, the fact that they can't even drink the keg. I mean, that kid's doing it, he's giving it all he's got, but... <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, what an absolute waste. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. I was, uh, I was wrong, just googled it. Turns out, you can, teens can, use a keg. They just have to put a tap on it and the first few times they'll fail but eventually they will succeed. So we're gonna give this another go. Go on girl, you can do it. Oh sweet! Wait, why can't I drink it? Oh yes. Yes, yes, this is glorious. I knew it was possible. Why didn't I believe in myself? Or the Sims even. Why didn't I believe in the Sims? Do the keg stand. It's your party, you have to be the coolest girl. See, he knows what he's doing. This party is, is looking way too civilized. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've made a right tit of yourself. Okay, try again, try again. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Selfie, of course, standard. Okay, well, at least go and have a drink then. <laughs> yep, this party is banging. School for Ava starts in an hour. Mm, I don't think that's happening, do you? Do keg stand. The funny thing about Ava is she's pretty much the opposite of um, her mum in many ways, but there are some things that you just can't help. There are some things that are completely hereditary. Can you guess? which part of uh, Tess's personality Ava has inherited? No? No idea? I'll give you a clue. There it is right there. Somehow we're on silver, which is pretty oppressive. Miss school, obviously miss school. Is it time for another cake stand? I think so. We'll get our ex Bay to uh, give us a hand this time. All right, boys, let's get it on. Let's get it on. Everyone having a good time? Yeah? Good. Cake party complete. <laughs> Fell on her ass again. Is that my phone ringing? Yeah. The principal is calling. Answer it. <laughs> give me an option to say no. Oh, give me a break. If she misses too much day, too many days, her grades will suffer. Yeah, yeah. All right. Fuck the system. Well, that was fun. She is very hungry though, so might just get something to eat have breakfast. It's 9am. <laughs> I don't even know what time it was when I started this party. I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> if it was like 5, 6am or something, what a time to have a party. And what a time to be alive. Right, okay, well, we'll pop this in the inventory for next time, and we'll get a couple of these bits back out, back in the room, back in the room. It's back to normal pretty much, ain't it? Oh, see what I mean? Then royalties rolling in. Yeah, we're fine. Ooh, GeekCon is in town. Hmm. Perhaps we will have a, a little peruse over GeekCon. Oh, she's still here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Talk about make yourself feel welcome. To be honest, overall, I'm pretty proud of Ava. She's, uh, she's doing all right, you know? She's a small fish in a big pond, but she's doing okay. Although she does desperately need to go to bed. So why don't you have a little sleep, girl? Go on, have a little sleep. Why is the clock still slowing down? Oh, fuck off. This is your fault. Barging in here, but don't mind me. We're practically best friends, right? I'm the best neighbour around. Not sure why all the other neighbours are avoiding me. Oh, fuck off, mate. You're preventing my clock from going forward 
from sleeping. Oh, what a dickhead. What a selfish little prick. Right, I don't like this guy. Okay, that's enough sleep. Wakey, wakey. Why don't you go be like a champion? Go on, go, go for it, go. Who are you chatting to? <laughs> Gone mad. Right, also, we're going to pop down to GeekCon because why the fuck not? It's a new way to meet new people, wouldn't it? Okay, so GeekCon's over here. So let's go over here. Not being funny, but where the fuck's GeekCon then? Where is it? Is, is it over already? Did I miss it? Oh, that's just fucking great, isn't it? Oh, I am so disappointed. I am so disappointed. <sighs> oh well. Okay, fine. We'll go home. <laughs> Actually, no, we won't. We won't go home. We'll have a drink. We are our mother's daughter, after all. Oh, favourite drink. I love playing this game, finding out which drink is my Sims' favourite. The last one was a glass of Granite Falls white wine. Let's find out what Ava's favourite drink is. I reckon it would be something like pint of beer. Something far less classy. <laughs> you could even tell from the way she walks. She ain't a classy girl. <laughs> One of my favourite drink, please. I should try that next time I'm in a bar. I'll just say, excuse me, can I have my favourite drink, please? And I know you didn't ask, but if you were wondering, is mine's a porn star martini? Not something you can get in America, I found. I mean, you could probably make it yourself, but certainly here in Texas, not that we're leaving the house anyway, but uh, you cannot find a porn star martini unless you make it yourself. Oh, there we go. I knew it would be something that would be in some kind of pint glass. She's not a Cosmo kind of girl. What is that? Fizzy fruity drink. Quite cute. Quite cute. Oh, also, we've got a school project, so... Drink up, girl. Oh, we're mingling. She's so brave. She has a very high-pitched voice. Have you finished your drink yet? Yes, you have. Right, well, in that case, let's go home. Because you've got a school project to do. You are still a teenager at the end of the day. Let's get home. Right, we need to take a shower, because we stink a little bit. Okay, well, with that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's an intro to a uh, brand new Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, hope you did like it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.